boys and girls. I'm in my backyard. Today's drawing lesson is going to be some of Old MacDonald's farm animals. At Old MacDonald's farm, you can find a cow. This is a young cow called a calf. We are going to draw a milk cow that looks like this fake cow here. So let's get started. Boys and girls, you need to get yourself a white piece of paper. And then you're going to fold this paper in half. You also will need a pencil and with an eraser on it because you will have to erase a little bit during this art lesson. So your paper will be in front of you on your desk like this. Be drawing on this top part and leave this blank and I'm going to be drawing on the whiteboard okay first boys and girls I want you to draw a large rectangle for the cow's body then at the bottom corner draw a circle and a smaller circle below that circle and that's going to be used for the head of the cow. Now from that top corner draw a line connecting that circle and then the bottom corner go up a little bit because we're kind of making like the neck of the cow and put your finger on that top circle connect with the bottom circle and then let's connect the other side. Now get your eraser and erase the lines, the inside lines. There. Now we are going to draw the legs. A cow has four legs, and boys and girls, I want you to draw, to draw these legs all the same length. So look at the legs on the bottom to see that they're the same length. Now let's go to the third leg here. That's in the back. And our fourth leg. All right. Now you're gonna erase those lines. See where your legs are? See the lines that are going through the legs? Erase those lines there. Now at the bottom of the legs, we are going to draw squares. Remember, a square has four equal sides. And the squares are going to represent the cow's hooves. third one, third square, and the fourth square. Now let's round off those corners of the rectangle because a cow does not have a rectangular body. Then erase those corners and draw the tail. Now on his head he has some oval shaped ears, so two ears for our cow and a large eye there, mouth, then some patches and that's going to be for those black patches on our white cow. This is High Spoke Cow, C-O-W, cow. To finish our cow, we're going to draw a curved line under the bottom of the cow which is going to represent the udder. The udder produces milk for a baby calf. 
and with your eraser, I want you to erase that line. There we go. The udder. Great job drawing a cow. Now we are going to draw a puppy. Look at this cute puppy that you can find at Old MacDonald's farm. So, I need you to draw on the bottom part of your paper now. Here we go. Draw a large circle. Then add two small circles at the bottom for the puppy's face. For the ears, draw a triangle on each side of the head. Now remember, a triangle has three sides. I'm going to draw this ear here a little bit larger. I'm going to make this triangle a little larger. Then I want you to erase the lines that overlap in the puppy's face. And where those two little circles were, then put his little tongue. Cute little tongue. How many eyes does a puppy have? Two. So let's draw two eyes. And then let's put a nose here. Go ahead and kind of round off the corners of your triangle so it looks more like an ear on each side of the dog's head. Then I want you to draw a large oval. See there for his body. Now let's draw a leg here. He has his paw at the end. Another leg over here. Draw those little lines there. Show the paw. And his back legs are back here. Get your eraser and erase those overlapping lines. Oh, I just love dogs. They are great on the farm because they make good watchdogs. And then draw a tail. How do you spell dog, boys and girls? D-O-G. Dog. Fix this down here. And there we are. We have two farm animals, a cow and a dog. See you the next time. Teaching tip. Parents or teachers, try to find ways to teach lessons using drawings. Drawing will enhance a child's understanding and engagement in core academic areas.